Hello viewers and welcome to my second tutorial. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to make a uh, fire from scratch. So um, in the end you'll get a picture of something like this. Not bad, I think. Pretty good. Considering you can make it really fast. So first off you open up GIMP and create a new image. I'm going to use the defaults um, and fill it in with black. See, mine is already black, but if you don't, choose the bucket fill tool and choose black as your foreground and click in the image. So now, you're going to take your paintbrush tool at a size of around 149 I have mine at and make sure your foreground color is white. So by clicking in the front and then choosing white and you're going to make a little zigzag type thing over here with wavy corners and you're going to take your smudge tool and varying sizes you're going to smudge up into your fire shape um, so once you're done this you should get a, uh, a pretty much a bl black and white a grayscale fire so remember to change your scale every now and again and I'm gonna cut out for a second and when I'll get when I come back I'll be done this so so I'm back and it was a pretty fast job so it didn't turn out too well but it'll serve our, our purposes so you're going you have your grayscale fire right here and you're going to go colors color balance and then while messing with these little sort of switches then you change the color of all the white parts in your image so if I put it to red green and blue it'll stay black and white but if I put it like this move red closer to cyan then it's a green color see so you're going to select your fire color and I'm gonna put it something close to this you want to keep it a bit orange because when I first did this it turned out pretty badly because my fire was red and so you can do that by putting red and yellow and then moving this around until you get a nice orangey color click shadows and then you can edit some more and then I'm going to set this to yellow put it a bit closer to green highlights a bit more red and it gives it a very realistic fire effect so maybe about that looks about good to me you press ok and again I didn't do a very good smudging job but if you take more time then it, it'll always turn out better and you'll get something close to what I showed you in the beginning so once you're done this you're pretty much done your your uh, fire and that was pretty fast and it's already one image so you're done subscribe if you like this video thanks for watching bye